Cappuccina, also known as Lil Rumminger. I started filming solo in costume last year when I began my YouTube channel. I have a diagnosed anxiety disorder and through filming my videos, I have learned several things that have helped me plan and film videos while coping with my anxiety symptoms. We work so hard on our costumes, whether it be historical, cosplay, or vintage, and filming is a great way to show how a costume moves or show additional details that can't quite be captured on a photo. I feel like a lot of people also struggle with anxiety or are at least a little self-conscious about filming in public. And my hope for this video is that it really helps you to try it to get out there and feel less worried about filming yourself in costume. And if you don't have anxiety, and I really wish I knew what that was like, um, I still think you can take away some of the tips from this video and apply them to your next filming session. Okay, let's get started. A backyard is a fantastic place to start if you have one or know a family member or friend with one. I prefer to go out to a local location for my videos, so we are going to focus on that as an example. I like to keep a list of locations in my area that would be perfect for future projects in the notes app on my phone. If you're stuck on where to go, follow accounts on Instagram that like to feature places in your area for ideas. I just like to be sure the area I choose to film in is safe, free to the public, and close by. If you can, try visiting your location and film some b-roll before you show up in costume. It allows you to get familiar with the area and also lets you start planning out where and how you would like to film at your location. I prefer there to be as few people as possible. I don't particularly like when people can be seen in the shots and the less people at the location also means less time being anxious about someone watching me while I film. This is where I use one of my favorite tools. It is the popular times tracker on Google. If you are a fellow introvert, I feel like you're very familiar with this one. Anyway, I always scan through the data to find the day and time that is the least busy. I understand this isn't accessible to everyone. If scheduling isn't as flexible for you, again, this is why it is good to have an option of different locations you can go to that better fit with your schedule. Okay, so I know my location and what time and day I'm going. The next thing I start planning out are the scenes or frames I want to film. I tend to draw those out kind of like a storyboard and I will end up bringing this with me to the location so I don't end up forgetting to shoot any scenes. Sketching frame ideas ahead of time also helps lessen my anxiety because I have a clear idea of what I will be doing during the shoot and it makes the filming session go so much faster. I also want to emphasize that you do not have to do the most when you film a video. Literally standing in front of the camera and twirling around is perfectly acceptable. If you're really great at posing, you can do a couple of poses. It's important that you do what's most comfortable for you. I film primarily on an iPhone 10. When I go to a park or a public space not in the city, I tend to bring more equipment with me. A sturdy tripod and a Bluetooth camera remote are really all you need starting out, especially if all you're looking at doing is a shot with you in the entire frame. Say if I film somewhere indoors or in the city like when I filmed at Pal City of Books, I brought camera equipment that was more conspicuous, something that could just easily fit in a tote bag like my small tripod and my gooseneck tripod. The most important thing is that you want to know how to use all your equipment before you film at your location. This makes for a smoother experience because you want to spend more time filming instead of tinkering around with your camera equipment. 
All right, really quickly, I just want to go ahead and show you what exactly I bring with me to a location shoot that is not located in the city. Um, I bring a backpack and a large IKEA tote bag with me. Um, the IKEA tote bag is the best thing because it's um, water resistant and I end up putting everything in that IKEA tote bag. I bring my tripods, which is the sturdy one, and a mini tripod. I bring my costume shoes with me and a plastic bag because um, I know those shoes are going to get dirty at one point. I also bring a tiny little coin purse. Um, it's really great for putting bobby pins, safety pins, and chapstick in it. And I always bring sunscreen and water bottle with me. Um, gotta stay hydrated at all times. And um, I bring my props. And um, I'll go ahead and get into why I bring props with me a little later in this video. Now um, I go ahead and pack everything the night before I go out to film something. Um, this makes sure that I don't forget anything and the morning of a film shoot I'm pretty nervous so I know I'm gonna either forget something or I just don't want to have a whole lot on my plate that morning. So. Anyway, um, I put the costume shoes in the plastic bag and uh, put the props right on top of everything else. The tripods are in the bottom because they're the heaviest. And the backpack is great for putting my wallet keys, sunscreen, water bottle, and coin purse. The costume also gets ironed the night before. I usually wear as much as I am comfortable when I drive over to the filming location and what I am not able to wear gets put on at the site. Okay, let's talk about props for a second. I always like to film with props. I noticed that having a prop takes the stress out of figuring out what I need to do with my hands during a shoot. You may have props that go along with your costume, and that is fantastic. Make sure to feature them. This isn't equipment related, but it's just a tip. Um, I always bring a pair of tennis shoes with me. Um, grass can be wet or muddy, so bringing a pair of tennis shoes has always served me well. So even with all the planning I do, um, though it does lessen the anxiety it have, it's still there and sometimes it can spike. And no matter how much I plan ahead of time, there will be people there and people stare because humans are naturally curious. So I like to remind myself of the following, that it is okay to take up as much space as I need while also being respectful to other people around me. The fact that I have set myself up with such a clear objective for this project, it allows me to really focus on what I need to get done. The other thing that helps me mentally is reminding myself that it's a temporary situation and I know that I will regret it if I don't get the shots I wanted. You know, you only live once, right? Also, take deep breaths and remember to stay hydrated. I want to address the question about what to say to somebody if they approach you. I actually haven't had anybody ask me what I'm doing during all the time I have filmed in public. And I think it's because of social media or influencer culture where people just assume you're filming something for TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. And actually, the day I filmed the examples at Piddick Mansion for this video, I got a lot of lovely comments from people passing by, like, you picked a beautiful morning to take photos. And, well, the example I showed you at the very beginning of this video. And if someone were to come up to me and ask, I would just say I'm working on a project and proceed to keep working because you don't really have to explain any further than that. Again, do whatever you are comfortable with in front of the camera. 
You don't have to be directly in front of the camera all the time. I get it. That's when I will focus on detail shots like shoes or I'll have my back to the camera. This is the last and most important piece of advice. Go out and film your costume in public as much as possible. The more I plan videos and film at a location, the more comfortable I have gotten in front of the camera. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving a tip to my Kofi account. If you can't, Donate, I understand. Giving this video a thumbs up, commenting, and subscribing also helps me a lot too. I hope this video encourages you to try to get out there. Remember, be safe. Happy filming. Bye.